Hi, I'm Olaf Bazowski. Welcome to Remixing in Ableton Live. What we're going to do today is make a remix from start to finish. And considering you picked up the video, I assume you know what a remix is. And if not, let's quickly open up the dictionary and look it up. We type in remix, there's Wikipedia. You didn't think I really was going to do that, did you? That would be the lamest thing ever. I don't think I need to tell you what a remix is. What I can tell you is what I think is not a remix. Remixing, I think, is not grabbing some, let's say, Jay-Z beats and finding a Lady Gaga Pella, um, <laughs> putting them together and putting it online and saying, hey, guys, here's my latest Gaga remix. That's not a remix. That is a mashup and mashups are really hot these days and they're really cool to use in DJ sets or to play to your buddies and all but a mashup is not a remix a remix the way I see it is usually um well a better version of a track and better from the point of view of the remixer of course if a drum and bass DJ does a remix he'll try and make it work for the crowd that he's used to play for so when I get approached to do this or that remix, I always think to myself, how can I make this track better? Better suited for use in the clubs that I play in. Better suited for DJs. All right? So that's what I think is a remix. And sometimes you get some money for it. Sometimes you don't. But you always do the best you can, of course. If you happen to have seen other videos of mine, you probably used to only see me use the DAW plugins. Like if I do a video on Logic Pro, I always use the Logic Pro plugins only. And in my other Ableton videos, I only use those plugins only. Well, today is different. And the reason for that is that I want to give you a little peek into my daily work, the actual way that I work in the studio every day. And for that, I'll need a couple other plugins. It's that simple. So these are the Ableton plugins and we'll be using them a lot throughout the video because they're really good. So um, don't underestimate those. They're really good. What I like using at other times is stuff from uh, Audio Damage. I like the Fab Filter stuff. IQ Multimedia, I uh, think the Sample Tank is really nice for a bread and butter type of synth. Native Instruments, a couple things. The Silent One, of course, who doesn't use that these days. And the Waves plugins. Now that looks impressive, doesn't it? Well, unfortunately, I don't have all of those. Most are, you know, leftovers from the, the demos I ran. And um, if I try to load one, maybe this one. See, I get this message. It's not working because, well, the demos are expired now. So I can no longer use them. I did buy a couple of them. I certainly don't need all of them. But um, what I did buy, for instance, was the C4, the multiband. This one right here. Or this one, the C1 compressor. Very nice sounding, clean compressor. And also the uh, L2, which are most of my masters. So do not think I own all of these. I like uh, these very much, the CLA analog modeled uh, compressors where they like this one LA2A but all right we're going to go into that all later now let's move on and start remixing <laughs> 